one of the three aspirants laying claim to the All Progressive Congress governorship ticket in Edo State, Honorable Anamero de Kerwe, is a sitting member of the House of Representatives as today stormed the national headquarters of the party in Abuja to demand a certificate of return. So the carries action is coming in the wake of a demonstration in Edo where some angry youths and women reportedly took over the party secretariat and demanded the immediate sack or res dissolution of the state executive led by the acting chairman, Mr. Jared Tanebe, following the outcome of the February 17 primary, uh, the governorship primary election, uh, where the chairman of the electoral committee of the primary and governor of Imo State, Ms. Uh, Senator Hope Puzadema, had announced Mr. Dennis uh, Idahosa as winner, while returning officer Stanley Guaja declared Senator Monday of Webolo as winner at the primary, uh, parallel primary election. Well, Mr. Tunje Ojo Ola Tunje, who claimed to be representing the returning officer in all the local government, declared an Amero Dekeri. It looks like a confused situation. Let's get to speak about this one. I have two gentlemen, by, all, uh, by the language that comes out of your tongue, they speak Edo, both of them. Uh, one is a lawyer, one is a politician. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a politician. has <laughs> 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 been live in Abuja studio, <laughs> while Liboros Oshoma is in London, virtually joining us to speak about this matter. Thank you so much, Mr. Oshoma, for joining us. <laughs> Thank you, Sho. And uh, I greet my brother, Kasim. Yeah. Is a prince of, he calls himself the prince of Oak Pillar. When I say he calls himself, he gets yes, upset yes. because he says he's an actual prince. <laughs> I think why the royal family in Oak Pillar. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Liboros, give us an yeah. understanding from a legal point of view. How much of a confusion this is? <laughs> is this a confusion or a contraption? Or do, is there a clear path in this matter? Yeah. I would say um, APC knows what they are doing. It's unfortunate. There's a clear pass. For the first time in the history of uh, APC primaries, when setting up committees, uh, when the National Working Committee is setting up um, a committee, an election committee, for the first time in their history, they appointed a returning officer. Before now, what you hear is a chairman of the electoral committee that's what we knew before now but unfortunately for them they appointed an electoral officer for the first time in the history of conducting direct primaries and so what is the duty of a, a, a returning officer constitutionally speaking the duty of a returning officer is to make a return the uh, returning officers at the local government level are to make returns at the local government level and then those election results announced from the local government are collated at the state's uh, headquarters where the returning officer will now make a return. APC did not, when appointing those people, did not spell out the function of the chairman. They didn't say that the chairman of uh, the electoral committee shall be the chief returning officer, legally speaking. So it is presumed, unlike, unlike uh, the INEC rules, which clearly spells out that the chairman of INEC shall be the chief returning officer for the election. So, in as, as, as um, uh, far as uh, those state election is concerned, there's a clear path because they, on their own, appointed a returning officer. But unfortunately, like we know, political parties, they create confusion. And like I always say, court is sitting on its own. And then you now create confusion and we now want the court to unwrap those confusions so created. But give us an understanding, legally speaking, from, your, from what you see and what you know, who is the candidate of the APC from that Saturday event, at the combination of all of the events? Legally speaking, um, the uh, candidate of the APC is the one as announced by the returning officer of the um, uh, primaries of the uh, election committee, not the one as announced by the chairman. So legally there speaking, is one the announced by the Ojo Babatunde, who is the uh, one of the, the local government? No, the announced honorable no. Kerry. There's one announced the, by Ugwaja. Ugwaja is the returning officer for the election. I didn't make him the returning officer. It is the state, it is the National Working Committee that made him the returning official. officer. Let me quickly take your mind, Shew, to the case of Adamawa, where the resident electoral commissioner made a return. Until date, he's facing trial for making a return when he co is constitutionally not allowed to make such return since there is a returning officer. In the case of uh, uh, Babatunde, Babatunde is a local government returning officer. 
a local government returning officer is to make returns at the local government level, legally speaking. It is not a duty of a local government returning officer to make return right. at the state level. Liberals. So it yeah. is the return officer at the state level since it is a constitutional responsibility of that return officer to make the returns. Let me allow the prince himself to, to speak to this matter. From your own point of view, you were in Benin yeah. uh, for the exercise. What's your own view of what happened? Well, I think uh, Liberals has been enjoying too much in London. It's not, uh, it's not following everything so you know, religiously. You see, the point is, the National Working Committee issued a statement which is part of the terms of reference given to the chairman that unauthorized, uh, issue a disclaimer that only authorized person, in this case, the chairman of the committee, can announce result of that particular election. And the, rest, uh, the returning officer, so-called, cannot work in isolation. You have a committee set up, chairman by Hopu Zodima and uh, governor of Cross River, uh, Bashi Otu, and about six other members. If the, if the so-called returning officer wants to return uh, a candidate, he cannot work in isolation, he cannot sit in his place. But the, the public secretary of the party issued a statement this is purely issue of internal mechanisms of the party, saying that the chairman of the committee is the one who is valid, validly recognized to announce results. That was very unambiguous and unequivocal. So what they were trying to do, the other side, we know what, was, what is playing out or what played out. They, were, they had a script badly managed by bad actors and were caught in their own game. Because you can't you can start announcing results at local government from 1, 1 p.m. in an edo that even some places, because of bad rules now, you can travel at five hours, you know, some places six hours before you get to the center. That is one. Two, you said the venue for the announcement of the is collision center. You said it was uh, vandalized. You pack everything, you went to the house of a participant to go and be announcing. Whose house? Pastor Ize Yamu. That but, was where they were announcing. But they said day. that they, they designated and they wrote INEC to designate in, in Pastor that, 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 that venue. <laughs> that venue that was vandalized was the designated. Okay, that, but that was not where they declared the entire result. But there were, there were thought invasion. No, they, 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 were, they, they said they have declared six local governments, I mean eight local governments in that venue. They said it was vandalized. I think the guys were adopted to the premises, a private residence, and he was declaring his right of a participant. Is that what you say? It's because the law is an act. So the man now validly elected somebody. Do you agree uh, with liberals on the point of law? There's because, no point of law in no, this one. See, the, 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 the process of yes. this election is a legal matter. It's cast in stone and it cast in the books. There are judgments. Even the voters know that there are a series of judgments that when it comes to internal uh, politics or parties or primaries and all of that, there are certain things that even the court can't interpret. Because even the party can just decide to choose somebody as a consensus candidate and say you are standing for us as an election. Just the same way that the True. Supreme Court said that so anybody, anybody who be, uh, it's only party that can determine who is his members because people no, Peter no. Obi was being challenged that he didn't uh, he, he, he's not valid no. member of but, the but, but, party. But, but, so that's was, not uh, true. why that's did true. the party appoint a chief <laughs> returning not officer? True. You see, wait. Well, we know what is playing out. <laughs> the same party, the same elements, some elements who appointed a returning officer are the same persons who after the script to return Monday of Pueblo. Because two days before the primaries, one of them had approached Dennis Idaosa to say, let's return Okwebolo and you can be his deputy. And the young man frowned at that. Now, the party, the, the public secretary of the party, the statement is issued defining the terms of reference had already knocked out whatever role they have given to uh, Ubuaja, to so go and so in, in, in terms of hierarchy and in the pro procedure of conducting an election, the chairman and the way liberals uh, uh, dis they described it, let's assume that the chairman, which is Senator Hope Uzodima, 
He is the wreck in that election. And Ubuaja, the chief returning officer, is the re chief returning officer in that order. Who do you think has the, uh, the prerogative? It's not about who do I think. The party that sent them on errand issued a statement saying that this person is the one that is authorized, only authorized to announce results. Let me, let me Liboros, uh, this is what the party said. Yes. There is a statement. Let me, let, let me allow you to look at it. And our viewers can yes. also have a no, sense I, of what I, the party said. The statement. There was a disclaimer in a statement released by the APC NWC. And uh, it is known to law that the NWC of the party determines the governorship the election of, the uh, and the terms of reference of, uh, you taking the words out of my mouth, yeah. uh, of a governorship election primary. So speak to that, Liberos. Yeah, so um, that, that uh, terms of reference, that statement was an afterthought by the party. The party is governed by constitution and not terms of reference. Let's, I, I, I think my brother, uh, Kazim, we should discuss the law, the constitution of the party as regards conduct of primaries. It is also not true that the party can just unilaterally sit down and say somebody is a consensus candidate. All other okay. candidates must agree. Section 84 of the Electoral Act has taken care of that. So what the party, my, my position here is that the party should abide by law. That statement issued by the public secretary of the party was an afterthought. Because when you appoint a committee, the terms of reference of that committee are spelled out upon appointment, not when the action or the job that the committee is uh, appointed to do is ongoing. And then you now begin to bring uh, other terms of reference. The terms of reference are properly spelled out. And if I must ask, why do you need to have a returning officer if he's not going to return uh, uh, election result or if he's not going to return a candidate? And then the result as announced by Kuopu Zodima in um, Protea Hotel. Who collected those results? Who was the returning officer that gave Kuopu Zodima those results? If in, uh, to, to also take uh, what uh, my brother Kazima said, if they are to work together. What we see here is a house divided against itself. And so since you have a house divided against itself, there are a lot of contending interests. I have said it time and time again, APC, you don't have one APC. What you have is a marriage of strange bedfellows. But unfortunately, for the party, for the first time, they did not do it the way they are used to doing it. Just create a chairman. They appointed an electoral uh, returning officer who did not play along with whatever script or whatever design that they wanted to achieve. And unfortunately, that's why you're having all of this. And I can tell you, take this matter anywhere, what you are going to have is that it is the return as made by the returning officer that is valid. All of those subsequent terms of references are terms of references that are after thought, after the terms of references setting up the committee had been issued. All of those um, terms of references of the committee had been issued upon appointment conduct election, and a returning officer will make return. A chairman of the committee is to supervise. A vice chairman is to assist the chairman in the event that the chairman is unavailable. So a situation where you now have the returning officer having to make returns, and the chairman, who is now like the rest of the electoral commissioner, usurping the powers of the returning officer. There's going to be a fundamental question not. relating, just a moment, that those who will ask, what are the terms of reference as given to the committee on one hand? On another hand is also the provision of the constitution of the APC constitution. in that respect. Exactly. Because the provisions of the constitution of the APC is for the National Working Committee to appoint members that we conduct the primary election. It is not the duty of the state ESCO to conduct election because they will be biased since they are participants in the process. So that is why the National Working Committee constitutionally is empowered to appoint electoral umpires. And in appointing electoral umpires, the terms of reference, what is the duty of the chairman? Is this spelled out in the initial, original uh, instrument that appointed those people that the chairman shall be the one? Mr. To, Mr. Oshoma, uh, announce does the result? venue where that result was announced, does it vitiate or not? The, the, uh, the, the, uh, the validity of that result based on the value. It, it, does it, it, does, it? it does. No, see, the question is... Uh, I does don't it want to go said into that, that it was announced in the House 
<laughs> of a participant, of a contestant I, I don't, in the race. I don't want to go into the politics of their venues. What I am looking at is strictly the legal position because, like I say, the courts sit down their own and APC carry their wahala. At the end of the day, we're not asked to be interpreting what the position of the law is. And I stand strongly All right. by the position of the law. Let, let me allow Mr. The of the Constitution to, to, to respond the to some of Sorry, the quickly. Sorry, Fergo. quickly. The position of the Constitution and the position of the, the act, or sorry, the instrument setting up that committee. Mr. Fegbua. I was going to think that maybe Liberos has a copy of the letter appointing Hopus Odima as chairman. Maybe he has a copy of the terms of reference. Because you, sp you speak in the language of finality as if you have the details, and you are saying that the position of the... Are you privy to it? No, no, no. As you are saying that the position of the publicity secretary is an afterthought. How do you come to such a conclusion, for God's sake? If the publicity secretary is not aware that these are the terms of reference given to the chairman, you think he would just go and, and make that announcement, disclaiming the announcement by the, returning, the so-called returning officer? So now you are a returning officer, you work in isolation. So uh, I hope Puzo Dima as chairman will just go and sit in the hotel looking, looking at you. Then you pack your things, you went to somebody's house to go and be uh, making uh, ret uh, returns, according to you. Then that, that is the position. They had a script, no doubt. And from day one, everybody knew that it was Hope Puzo Dima who was going to do this. The uh, returning officers at the local government level, at the world level, and all of that, they collected results and sent to this thing. One o'clock is even a bad time for you to say you are returning, uh, what do you call, you are returning results. Mm -hmm. In an edo, uh, you, you should have waited for results to come from different local governments. Where do you go when from here, Prince? We're out Sorry? of time. Where do we, Where go, do from we go from here? Yeah. Nothing, has, nothing has happened. The candidate of the party is Dennis Idahosa. All right. That has been congratulated by the chairman of the party. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, then uh, Hope Buzo Dima uh, submits his comprehensive report. Liberals, where, 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 uh, where do you think the APC should, should, should go from here? A certificate of return. The APC, uh, clearly, it's obvious that they have created a keg of uh, gunpowder for themselves. And if care is not taken, they might not have a candidate in the election. Because the, as we speak, already. the matter definitely is going to cops. All right. Uh, lawyers, gentlemen. lawyers who want to make some briefs. <laughs> so I, I don't, I don't argue with that. Lawyers are looking for briefs. <laughs> After all, the people that will be spent more money hiring lawyers that can pay you on the election. Briefs, Gassim Adekwa, people of Nusheba, gentlemen, thank you so much indeed. We look forward to how this was and the APC able to resolve this matter. Thank you so much, gentlemen. And that's our show for tonight. And thanks for watching, everyone. I'm sure Akimale. Bye-bye.